Good morning, boys and girls. Here's Alex. He's got a little issue. He wants something. So he's trying to persuade his family to get him an iguana. And I want an iguana by Karen Hoffman Orloff and Dave Catro. <clears throat> GP Putnam Sons, New York publisher. I want an iguana. <clears throat> Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mike Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky, and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. <clears throat> Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, did you know that iguana, iguanas are really quiet and they're cute too? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love your adorable son, Alex. See where he illustrated his letter? Mom writes back, Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small. I'll bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Mom writes back, Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You don't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love your concerned mother. Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love mom. Dear mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Uh-oh. Dear mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I would have never taken the cover off the jar. Love your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have an iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love mom. Dear mom, I would feed him every day. He eats lettuce. And I would make sure he has enough water and I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible 
Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Ouch. Dear Alex, a trial basis means dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. Dear Mom, I really, really, really try to clean my room in the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom, I want an iguana, please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Boys and girls, Alex was persistent. He kept writing letters to try to prove and persuade, prove to his mom and persuade her to get him that iguana and give him a chance. Boys and girls, on your bingo sheet, one of the things I said was maybe write a letter, a thank you letter to someone in your family. I bet you Alex is Alex is ready to write a thank you letter to his mom for giving him a chance and an iguana. Have a great day, guys.